Hi everyone. This is a look at the combined gas law. This is a law that we're going to use when pressure, temperature, and volume are all changing. There's nothing constant about it. It's Boyle's law and Charles' law combined together into one gas law. It turns out to be P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 times V2 over T2. This means that there's five numbers given to us in the question, and we're looking for the sixth. This means that our interpretation and the demands of us being organized is just up a level. Um, a constant would be left out. If we were reading a question and it said that the temperature was constant, if the temperature was constant, we would leave it out. The question told us constant temperature. That means we would have Boyle's law, or if we take the combined gas law and omit, leave out anything that's constant. So the question said the temperature was constant. We would leave the temperature out and we'd have Boyle's law. If we were reading a question and it told us that the pressure was constant, the pressure was constant, we would leave off the two P's and we would end up with Charles' law. However, the possibility also exists that a question might tell us the volume is constant. Let's see. Temperature was constant. We left out the T's. Pressure was constant. We left off the P's. If the volume is constant, leave out the V's. Which means there's a sneaky hidden gas law in here that it's not officially something we talk about. It has a name. It's the Guy-Lussac law. However, we can pull it out of the combined gas law. One more time. If everything is changing, pressure is changing, volume is changing, and the temperature is changing, we'll use the whole combined gas law. That's where there's five numbers and we're looking for a sixth. Don't be surprised if you arrive at a question, you might have the built-in expectation that, oh, I'm going to do a combined gas law, but if something is constant, we're going to leave it out of the equation itself. To end up back at one of our original two laws, or this sneaky hidden one, P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Because it's Boyle and Charles combined together, the same things we said about Boyle and Charles also apply. The temperature has to be in Kelvin. All these T's, they have to be converted into Kelvin. Add 273.15 to all of the Celsius temperatures to convert them. The units for pressure and volume just have to match. The two P's are going to have the same units. They can both be kilopascals, maybe even atmospheres. The two volumes have to be the same as well. They could both be milliliters or even both liters. The manipulations are a little bit more involved. Here they all are, the six possible manipulations. I want to really draw your attention to the ones and twos. P1, the initial pressure, equals P2 V2 times T1 over V1 times T2. One common mistake that students sometimes make is they put all their ones and twos, they group them all together. Or we accidentally put the numbers in the wrong spot. A little bit extra emphasis on being organized. Other than that, it is really just a small extension from our earlier work on Boyle and Charles. The manipulations are slightly more involved. However, it's pretty manageable. And I hope that helps.